questions? Okay. Just first of all, I want to just really uh, congratulate our team and uh, how tough they are and how much they fight and how hard they play. Um, we were about to play 60 minutes here and we did run pretty all the time, but uh, the grit that our guys showed was, was tremendous. Uh, so proud of our staff. I just feel like our guys just work so hard together. Staff loves each other, enjoys each other. Our players love each other, enjoy each other. It's a special, special group of guys. And uh, that's why I just feel I feel thankful and blessed to be the head coach here, have this opportunity. Uh, I know it's a historic win for us in a lot of ways. Um, I'll, I'll let Jeff Cade always update me on how big it really was, but I know it's a big deal uh, to come here and win. Um, and uh, to be able to get that sixth win, which was never our goal. It's still not, we talked about players, they haven't talked about that. Um, actually have bigger goals than that. That's the bare minimum. But uh, I, I know it's a big deal because it hasn't happened that, that frequently. But, but that was never our goal. So um, I just got to give our guys a ton of credit for, for fighting. And the defense struggled at times. And I got some key takeaways. They got the huge four down stop that was, that was big. And then our offense just continues to be highly effective. Uh, Peyton Ramsey would kind of say, you know, just absolutely stud. Um, tough, gritty. That key first down with his legs, takes some shots, um, just finds a way to, to win games. And, and uh, that's just who we are. Steve Scott got some huge yards at the end. You know, we were taking what they were giving us and, and uh, we threw the ball pretty effectively, but uh, we ran the ball well when we needed to. So, <clears throat> but uh, at the same time, um, I just can't say enough. You got to do more. Coach, you've been through a lot of a few of these big games. We've talked about it, been so close. How does it feel to you personally, and how big is it for this program to come through on the road, no less, at a place like Nebraska? Yeah, you know, I'm tired. I, I got really tired of standing in front of you all and talking about how close we are and being disappointed and trying to figure out how I'm going to, you know, spin it the right way when I know I was just torn up on the inside. So it feels pretty stinking good to stand here and answer your questions after a big time road win for the Hoosiers. So, I don't really care what anybody else thinks. This is awesome. This is big. Uh, this means a whole lot to our program. It changes a lot of things with our guys. Um, this team believes. This team has found a way to win. This team has a lot of character. So uh, we got a few characters as well, but uh, we love them all the same. Just got to keep teaching, keep growing, keep getting better, and uh, best yet to come. Coach, uh, last week the defense finished the game. This week it was a few big runs by Stevie Scott and Peyton Ramsey. Yeah. Uh, Peyton said it, it goes back to fall camp. Just how much credit do you put on the offensive line and the offense for closing out after that? Yeah, I mean, I tell you what, just uh, a ton of credit goes that offensive line. We even shuffled them up again today. Kind of an unexpected thing with Simon not going. And uh, they, they, they didn't know that was going to happen. But uh, and, uh, McKenzie stepped in there and did his job. Man. And uh, we lost Coy. And uh, he continues to be a tremendous leader. Uh, so that group has really been um, the mainstay of why I think we're going to work. You still got to, you have to run the football at critical times. And they're at the end, you can't throw the ball. Um, it's just a whole different kind of psyche you have towards those last few minutes of the game. And you got to get those key first downs and with either Peyton's legs or Stevie's legs. And, and uh, just the ball security that, that, that Stevie has and just the coaching that Coach Hart gives them. So, yeah, I mean, it's just uh, really neat to this, this week to, the the offense got a chance to close it out. And, uh, it's a pretty good feeling, though, when you know you get that last first down and all you got to do is start kneeling. I mean, that's, I've been on the other end of it, like, well, the one last week, you know, you're just, I mean, it's one play, can, you know, and your heart's just like beating out of your chest. And so I actually got to enjoy the last minute of this one pretty, pretty, uh, pretty nice. So, um, but yeah, this is a pretty, pretty uh, awesome place to play. I've never been here before, never been to Lincoln, never coached here, never played here, nothing. So, uh, so awesome crowd and they're so stinking loud. So, uh, but uh, yeah, it was pretty special. Hey, Coach, you've been talking, talking about um, stacking recruiting classes. You've been building, you got young guys who are contributing, and you've been talking about the breakthrough. R results like today, is this sort of validation or just something you would point to and say, that's what we wanted to look like? Yeah, well, you know, I make, we had, breakthrough has a lot of different layers and it's got a lot of different meanings, but uh, right. this constitutes breakthrough. This is, there's no question. And I know I took some heat when I came out with that a few years ago. And, and I believe with my whole heart that we were going to break through year one. I knew we did. And uh, we were obviously close, but we didn't. I really believe that year two, we were close, but we didn't. 
and uh, but I didn't quit believing. Uh, that's where grit came in. We have to keep our one word for this year, and, and uh, I'm not going to catch some heat for one word, but those are powerful things, you know. So I really don't care what anybody thinks about our one words. Okay, and so those things, those they unite us. It gives us tremendous focus. It gives us purpose. It gives us things we have to have as a team and things we have to do. And uh, this is, uh, you know, we play a tough division now. Right. I mean, we do, and we play a lot of good football teams. And it's tough. I mean, history is what it is. But we're making changes here, and that's what we're selling to recruits. And bottom line is, is you know, eventually you have to start doing it on the field. I get that. I'm not. Uh, you know, I, you know, I was born at night, but not last night. You know, and so the bottom line is, is that you have to show evidence on the field that the breakthrough is actually coming and it's actually going to happen and to me i'm gonna get on the phone here i'm gonna talk call some recruits myself tonight i'm gonna tell them did you watch the game do you see what we're doing and in the end everything i told you we're doing what we're going to do we're doing we're a young football team we are and this was a this was not a pretty game i mean there's a lot of things we'll go back and i'll watch it on the plane ride and i'll be mad about certain things and, and uh but uh, uh we'll get we'll learn from them we had a couple we had two i thought really dumb mistakes Dumb penalties that, that cannot happen, and uh, but there's some youth there that has to just, you know, we got to keep teaching just like your children. You, know, you don't you discipline them and you teach them. You know, that's part of you know, parenting and coaching are one and the same. They really are. A lot of the same principles. With how you get the same results. So, but yeah, this is a huge thing for us. But it's gonna, you know, be something we got to build off of. We got to take the momentum and keep rolling. And, and uh, but yeah, it's about um, building something special. And yeah, I mean, it is a process. Anybody doesn't understand that doesn't understand know where we're coming from and what we're doing and I can do this football team and uh, see how we play. What did you see from uh, preparing for the game from Nebraska's past defense that you could exploit and what changed throughout the game and what did you guys do to, to be so productive against them? Well, you know, we, we felt like we really knew running was going to be hard based on what their alignments, their mass, and the strength of their defense. So. Um, we kind of, if you notice, we didn't really just ram our heads into the ball to try and force it. We still continue to run the ball. But uh, we thought there were things we could take advantage of in the past game, and they proved to be true. But you're still going to execute. you got to make those catches. I mean, we had some really, even that one, the tie fry folk only want to catch. I mean, on a critical situation, just going up and, and just making tough catches. And Peyton Hendershot had a huge catch in for two points. But so, so that, you know, you, you do a good job in the past game, but you got to, all the lines got to block. They're going to bring pressure. We got a young old line still. I mean, Matt Bedford's a true for me. That's the hardest play. Play left tackle in this conference as a true freshman, and uh, it is, it's just and he's not even a seasoned O lineman. You know, he's just really, really, really raw in a lot of ways. So, but all those variables come into play. And then obviously we talk about Peyton. But, but yeah, we felt like we could throw the football, and uh, and uh, we were able to. But then as the game comes, you got to adjust, and they do different things, and they start bringing different coverages and pressures, and you got to adapt. But I, Coach DeBoer does a phenomenal job. He sees it, he's up the box, and just kind of takes what they give us. And our guys believe in what we're doing, and uh, they executed very, very well again today. So how about the job of failure did? I think it's one of the biggest games in the history of this, this stadium. Right really? after he had today. Yeah, I didn't realize all that, but I do know that he, uh, but I'm going to tell you this, okay? Sometimes the very thing, this is the life principle, the very thing that makes you special is sometimes the very thing that can be what can hurt you, right? So is, he's not a very big guy. He plays with a ton of energy and a ton of swagger. And then, I mean, sometimes you just got to like, you know, I wish I had a muscle, okay? He needs a muscle sometimes. You know? <laughs> but that energy is what caused him to make plays, okay? So you got to learn it. You got to teach him. And I got to grow it. Like, if you notice during that point, when he had that penalty, I was with him and I kept holding him. I would not go let him get away until I got eye to eye, yes, sir, the response I knew I needed to have. And I wasn't going to let go of him, okay? And, and because he and I have a strong relationship, Okay, and he was he was hot. I mean, he was, they're, but they're doing this and they're saying this and they're coming. I, don't, I said I don't care what they call you. I don't care about that. So you just have to keep teaching. But that makes him special. I mean, he's an he, he just has so much energy, and he's just you should have heard him before the game. I was just kind of like, just relax. Because he was so determined to come here and prove. Because some, some things were said before, you know, about Indiana, you know, and us playing Nebraska. And the, the, could you look at the history? And it's like. They're just not the same, okay? They're just not the same. And so, but our guy took that personal. And he was one of them. I mean, he was the leader of the band of all that. And, but at the same time, I got to kind of like temper that little sucker because he can just get a little bit too much, you know? But once again, that's what makes me who he is. So I just got to channel all that energy in the right direction. That's, that's part of my job. That's how I teach him to become the man I believe he's created to be. What about the toughness of coming back from 14-3 real early? 
and it seems like they threw a lot of things at you. They did trick plays. I mean, it was just like tempo within the trick plays. I'm just like, and I was kind of trying, by the time trying to figure out what happened to the last play, they did another one, you know, and so they kind of got us on our heels, you know, and that's, that's tough, you know, and then so I was frustrated, Kane was frustrated, we're all frustrated, and, uh, but I, I knew they, they were trying to get that energy going fast, they were trying, we knew, I knew they had to do that, to try and get some momentum going, and, and I just said, guys, weather the storm, weather the storm, and then let's just go play football, and so that's kind of, and I'll watch the film and see, you know, how we did on all that, but yeah, it was a, it was a tough start for us, not the way you want to start on the road. Coach, going forward, you've got four games left, but you're six and two. You got back-to-back -back wins, back-to-back -back Big Ten wins, back-to-back -back road wins, and a lot left to play for. But what does this win today do for the rest of the season? Well, you know, a couple things. You know, it continues to build confidence and momentum in what we're doing. You know, I mean, it just validates all the things that you keep. Because you know, you keep. Cause I, my whole thing is, is that I try to rephrase things a certain way. It's to a point, but you, you, you don't just change what I believe in. So the same things I've been telling them two years ago and last year, you know, you don't want it to get stale, you know. So when you see the results, just like I said last week, for the defense to be on the field, to be the reason why we win the game was huge. The offense to finish it out this week, and the defense also getting us key stop, and we had to have it, those build confidence. They do. And it just uh, it makes you practice different. It makes you feel different. And uh, I think it, you just you, you play different. And so, but you got to live it. You got to experience. It. You can't just talk about it. So, I just think these are big, and, and I'm not going to worry about the other ones. I'm going to worry about. Well, first of all, I want to enjoy this one tonight. Okay. But once that's over, then all we're going to focus on is Northwestern. That's it. I don't care about nothing else. Focus on Northwestern. They're coming to town. I, I want a huge, huge crowd for this football team. Need these kids to fought and fought and fought and fought. And I want these. I want our fans to come and support this football team. I get it. I understand. Okay. And I understand the frustration of the past, but I don't care. I haven't been here very long, all right? All I know is what we're doing right now. And come support this football team and help these guys do something special. And that's all I can ask. Because these kids are going to play hard. I mean, they're going to play perfect, but we're going to play really hard. We're going to play for 60 minutes. We're going to find a way to stick and win the football game. And that's what these kids are that, that, that belief is just growing and growing. All right, thanks, Tom. Awesome. Appreciate you guys. Elio, have a great day. <laughs>